Do you believe in a higher power? Is there something in your life greater than you? If so, does it make you happy? If the ah! <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing standing in front of a church? Uh, yeah, it's pretty obvious, I think, that happiness can easily be derived from this kind of a building behind me. Yep. We've talked about the seven ups of happiness in our series of videos. We're Scott and Jeff. We're not experts of pretty much anything. We hardly even know how to speak good. No. But don't. we know few things. Yeah. And of those things, we know how to be happy. Yep. So, in this episode, we're talking about one of the seven ups of happiness, which is actually not much to my regret and remorse, not officially one of the seven ups, though it's one of the millions of ups that fall into the seven ups, because the publisher of my book was like, you know, I'm not sure you want to do this one. But I'm not going to lie to you. I want to do this one. <laughs> okay. And we're going to do it. It's called Look Up, because of, just from me personally, and I think I speak for Jeff when I say, I don't know, I mean, we've known each other for many, many years, since 1978. Yeah, something like so that. So 40 years yeah, now, yeah. as of this moment. I would say that for me, perhaps the greatest up of all in terms of really being happy is looking up. 90% of the world's population uh, admit that they believe that there is a God. They believe in some sort of superior deity that, you know, basically would include someone that runs things, that's in charge of stuff, a great creator, whatever. So our chances are really good that you're probably one of them. I mean, nine out of yeah. 10 people yeah. believe in God. And if you're not, you know, I know there's a lot of talk and a lot of research and stories out now about this spirituality movement, right? I'm gonna go ahead and, and kind of focus inward and, and uh, in a good way, right? You're talking about like mindfulness? Yeah, mindfulness, like yeah. yeah. And if, if that's you, that's great. In fact, there's a great app out there. There's a lot of them, but the one that I found that I think is pretty cool is called Insight Timer. It's a meditation app and I'm not big on meditation, at least I wasn't per until se. I started looking yeah. at this thing. And uh, it's cool. It's got all these pre-done meditations that can be five minutes, 10 minutes, or 30 minutes by professional people out there. And you have this cool little community. So that's something that I'd recommend doing. Absolutely. As for looking up. Yeah. The whole point is, is that you recognize that there is some sort of higher power or whatever in your life. And if you have that belief, it shouldn't be a stretch for you to make the connection that if there is some greater power, let's call him or her or it God, and if there's a creative element going on, it's highly likely that that thing wants you to be happy. I mean, it would just, it almost makes sense. Yeah, yeah. If you believe in God, you believe that he loves you, he or she or whoever it is loves you. I'm gonna say he just for my own, just to you know cut to the chase. If he really loves you, he wants you to be happy. And part of your happiness will be you recognizing the fact that he loves you. Sure. Looking to him as a source. Of happiness. You know, joy. one of the things that I do that really makes me happy along these regards is I typically, if I if I wake up at seven in the morning, I can get ready in time, go do my stuff, whatever, but not, not until recently, right, I decided I'm going to start getting up an hour early. Okay. And I'm going to read scriptures. I'm going to read something spiritual. Some and I'm sort telling of holy you, writ. Yeah, yeah, As whether that's the Bible to, or, mm -hmm. you know, other, other types of readings of that nature. Uh, could be uh, other types of books like that, right? But I'm telling you, it has made a huge difference as far as starting my day on the right foot. It's hard, I know, I'd rather sleep, but man, if you just start doing it, for my case, again, 6 to 7 a.m., maybe 6 to 6.45, and then I you know, have that little meditative time, and then by 7, hey, you know what, I'm ready to go. It makes a huge difference. You know, what Jeff just said right there is part of our recurring theme of happiness, which is it is a choice, and it's a choice to work. It's a choice to make effort. And he just said, it sounds like something I don't want to do. I don't want to get up at 6. I'd rather sleep till 7. And I yeah. especially don't want to get up to read Holy Writ. Holy Writ? Is it time to read again? Sorry. But I just think that's fine. Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> that's, that's Could be worse me. words that's there. That's just me being euphemistic yeah. in a fun way. But the fact of the matter is that effort, A, just making an effort to read or do something that you don't want to do, does sort of bring a natural sense of happiness. B. If what you're reading happens to be truly connected to the deity of this universe, then it's going to also bring you a source of happiness. So if you want a double dose, a double jolt <laughs> of like morning religious latte. Okay, if that coffee, is possible. Coffee, beans. And brew. Then do the work of reading and praying 
and then the reading and praying and stuff also brings you happiness. So it's like two sources. Three fingers into four. Coming together. Making you happier than even if you were to just do something stupid. Now, you don't have to just read. Of course, you can listen to inspiring music, right? You know, you can watch inspiring movies, which... You can uh, say, Alexa, turn on the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, for example. Yeah, yeah. Or Alexa, read Genesis 1. Yeah, it's amazing what she'll do. Oh, yeah. She sounds just like James Earl Jones. It's amazing. It's Especially when we get the Noah. All right, got, so just to wrap my... things up, uh, we'll just do our quick little, quick, quick, quick top three uh, faith-promoting God-type movies or TV shows, anything that's been effective to so, you. Number three. number three for me, when I started thinking about this topic, um, it, it started to drift a little bit away from actual spiritual yeah, yeah. deities and stuff, sure. but things that Something made inspiring. me feel closer. Yes. Yeah, Good. so I love the movie Whale Rider. If you haven't seen the movie Whale Rider, I, there's a part at the end. Have you seen it? No, I don't even know what you're oh, talking about. Oh, gosh. It's, it's, a, it's a family down in New Zealand, a little tribe of Maoris, and uh, the girl is born, and the, the, the grandpa's upset because it should have been a boy, wow. and she never gets validation. Don't give it away. They're going to watch it. Got to watch it. Whale Rider. It Inspiring. is just, yeah. I, I just love it. There's a part at the end that gets me teary every single time. That's a good one. Yeah. I, I didn't take this one too seriously. <laughs> Bruce Almighty. Oh, yeah. I do like Morgan yeah. Freeman No, it's God. got some good messages yeah, in I it. I mean, he learns, you know, Bruce turns his life around. Okay, number two. Number two for me, uh, old TV series for you, old. Gunsmoke. Oldies out there. No, no, no. Highway to Heaven. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Landon and Richard Friend. <laughs> hey, what's it? No, Robert Friend. Was number one touched by an angel? No. No, 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 no. It's not. No, no. I didn't. No. I didn't do that. No, no. Yeah, uh -uh. it was the old uh, the, the 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 guy with the French. What, yeah, what's yeah. His some French. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Highway to Heaven. Wasn't it's, Merlin it's, Olsen in it? Or was I, that, he uh, might have been. Oh, that, that was, was Little House on the Prairie. prairie. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. another good one. Kind of yeah, Godish. Yeah, yeah. That's a good show. Anyway, that's number two for me. Number two, The Ten Commandments. Uh, literally oh, Cecil boy. B. DeMille's classic yeah. epic. Uh, I remember seeing that for the first time as a missionary, a Mormon missionary in Spain, seeing it in Spanish, and I was moved to tears. I mean, it, yeah. it, the, the, the dividing of the sea, the whole thing, it just really started to dig the Old Testament more than ever. Number one for so you. So on the spot, you caused me to kind of change okay. my number one. Gotcha. Now, I was going to say Miracles from Heaven with Jennifer Garner. Great movie. Fantastic, okay. uplifting movie it, based on I a like true it. story. But since she said Ten Commandments, i got to say Ben-Hur. Ben-Hur is such a great movie. I'm not talking about the remake. The remake was pretty good. They did yeah. a good job, but you got to see the Charlton Heston one. I mean, when he has that moment at the end, when he sees, you know, Christ being crucified and he goes through this change, we talk, oh yeah, yeah. just awesome. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna depart a little bit with this one because it's one of my favorite all time sort of literary, cinematic, theatrical, for me, very faith promoting, and that's Les Miserables. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, just yeah. the whole redemption story. Uh, and then, of course, when you add music, yeah. those French guys that did whatever, yeah. and all that, the whole package is just get out of here, tear inducing, yeah. God loving. Good stuff. Russell so, Crowe's singing made me cry in that it was, movie. Uh, that was tear-inducing. But you know, it doesn't matter who plays Jean Valjean, you know, whether it's uh, Wolfman or Wolverine or Frankenstein sure, or yeah. The Mummy. It's the content. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just the fact that this wonderful man who's turned his life around, and then the, the priest in the beginning who not only forgives him, but gives him more. Yeah. There's a lot of good higher power themes. Yep. You want to be happy right now? Go turn on an inspiring bit of movies. You want to be happier over the long haul? Discover faith in something greater than you and worship that faith. Make it a regular practice. Follow what yeah. that faith is. And I promise you, you'll find greater happiness than you have perhaps right now. Seriously, on a serious note, if it couldn't be more serious, I don't know how more serious I could be. Look for a higher power. Hey, thanks for joining us and please come back, tell a friend. Hit the little thumb and uh, leave a comment. We'd like to hear your comments, positive or negative. We probably won't focus on the negative. Nah, as much. we'll probably delete those, but put them on there anyway. Sure.